What's up, y'all? BC coming at you. Roll call. Merry Christmas, dude. I hope everybody's having a great Christmas. I've been farting like a banshee, dude. It's always Granny's dressing. So if I fart during this video, I apologize. So um listen, um people always ask me, oh yeah, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button like I smashed Wes Watson's wife last night. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I was here with Granny and Wes Watson at homos in California. Listen, okay, people be saying like, um, Big C, you never give back. Like, what do you do to give back? Like, help people. I'm about to give you a piece of advice. It's something I invented. No one's ever, what you're about to hear with your ears, like that, like you have never heard the knowledge I'm about to drop on you. It, it's just literally gonna come on you. It's kinda like, it's, it's gonna change your life. And this is why I'm just like a genius, okay? People, they always say, like, um, number one problem for, like, parolees. Oh, by the way, people be asking, like, do they see I like your shirt? It has nothing to do with, like, politics or, um, the military. That's gay, dude. Um, it has to do with all the people that freedom isn't free. See? Freedom isn't free. Listen, because for every person paroled, you know, there's some dude in the hole because he got protective custody, like Wes Watson and that honey badger, you know? So for every person that's free... There's someone, like, in the PC yard, like, Honey Badger. Anyway, people say, like, what is your, what is the best way to beat, like, a uh, drug test? And I'm not telling you this to glamorize it. Uh, it's to show you the downfalls of being an OG, dude. So, basically, you know, you go to parole office. And the number one thing is people, like, always have an, um, like, they don't know what to carry it in. Or it's like, but you have, God gave you the perfect pouch. Okay, 15 minutes. Now, this is key. Listen to me. Like, put down your suboxone strips and open your ears. Like, 15 minutes before the appointment. It can't be any more, and I'll tell you why in a minute. You squirt the clean pee up your butt, dude. Okay? They can frisk you, do anything they wanted to you, okay? You don't have nothing on you. Now, there's two ways to do it. Like, sometimes, you know, you take a straw, right? And you tape it to your ball sack, and you get it close enough to your booty hole that when you go to pee... You just give it a little push and it goes up there. You ain't going to like that sensation. Trust me. It ain't going to be good. West Washington and Honey Badger are like, ooh, I'm going to do that again just for fun. I bet you are. You know, but we don't. OGs, like, it's not enjoyable. We don't enjoy it. It's to, it's to beat the drug test. Not for glamorization. I'm just telling y'all for education purposes. Like for young people thinking about being on parole and stuff and they still use drugs. So, listen. um, You do that and the pee goes from the straw right into the cup. Now, sometimes, like, if you're, like, um, if you're, like, a lady, you can just, like, squirt it into, like, oh, and it goes straight in there, and they think you pee. They don't know any different. Here's the problem. There's, like, this heavy set girl. She was a real good friend of mine. Like, we were lovers. And she had a, um, uh, uh, drug test at the parole office, but she squirted up for about, like, four hours before the, um, the appointment. So she goes in there, sits down, and goes, and she said, she knew immediately, it went, sh -doop. and she said she didn't want to pull it out, but she did. And when it came out, it looked like one of them snow cones, like ice cream cones. It was like the cup and then like a blob of poop. So she got, like, violated. Um, so don't, you have to squirt the pee up your butt 15 minutes before your appointment. Now, what do y'all say about that? Yeah, you West Washington's in the back, like, wait a second, what about the W's? No, that's gay. No one's ever told you that right there. S sit, don't be like arrogant and stuff. Admit it. You've never thought of that. Yo, that's why I'm an OG. Yeah, yeah, 1090. That's why I'm an OG. That's why. I invented that. Yep. So, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm waiting for a call from the pharmacy. My girl, she's like, oh, she called in a fake prescription. So, it is what it is. It's Christmas. You got to remember, it's like, you know, it's baby Jesus' birthday. So, Merry Christmas, like and subscribe, and make sure you let people know about this because the number one thing with young people is that. Like, it's very hard to stay sober more than a month in a row. And, and why they expect people to, like, stay sober the entire time they're on parole? That's ridiculous, dude. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in any of that. So, stay sober. Uh, love your elders. Uh, Merry Christmas. Big C, looking out for you. Bye.